going to show you how you can make a sock puppet donkey, a bit like this one. There we are. And I'm doing a donkey um, because it fits in with the Easter theme, but obviously you could make a different animal. Now to make your sock puppet, you're going to need these things. I've made a list of them here. So, so you need a sock, and that hopefully one that it, it doesn't matter that if you stick things onto it, maybe one that you don't wear anymore. Um, some felt or paper for the ears. Wiggly eyes or buttons or pom-poms you can use for the eyes. Um, craft foam um, or paper for a tongue. Wool or paper for the mane. Double-sided sticky tape is really useful for this. Um, scrap paper for making your patterns. Ruler, pencil. And then you might need felt tip pens if you're going to do some colouring. And if you haven't got double-sided tape, um, some PVA glue or other glue um, and sellotape is useful for one part of this as well. So I'm going to show you how I made this one. I've got the other sock um, and this is quite good because it's a grey colour and it's got the um, bit at the, the toe bit and the heel bit there. Especially this bit especially helps make it look more like a donkey. Um, so, here's my donkey. I've actually made some marks on here where I want, want to put the ears and the eyes, but you don't have to do that. Um, so there we are. I'm going to show you how, how to do the ears first of all. So, I've got one ear here that I've made, and I've got the other one to match it. Um, and the way, the way I made the ears was, I made a pattern. And the way I made the pattern was with one of my pieces of paper. And I just looked at a picture of a donkey. And you can see they've got quite big ears. So I just uh, looked at them and worked out what size I wanted. Um, they need to be quite long. Um, and I just, I just kind of measured and, and made a pattern, really. So I saw the, what the shape was nice pointed here a bit like a leaf shape really but you do need a flat bit at the bottom here to make so that you can attach them and it, it works better that way so basically I made a pattern and um, you can do it on a fold so that you get it symmetrical so I chose my length marked it out and I just drew this kind of shape wide in the middle and down there and across there and obviously when you cut that out um, and open it up it's kind of the shape that you want so it's up to you um, how you do the ears mm. so with felt if you've got felt that's suitable um, you cut it out what I the, the reason you might need the sellotape is when you're cutting out your pattern you can just stick it on with sellotape and cut round it or you could pin it um, but that's what I did. I used sellotape. So I've got that here. Now I'm using my double-sided sellotape here. You only need a little bit. So if you've got to roll like this, this works quite well. And you just need to pinch this together at the bottom to make the 3D shape. The hardest bit is pulling the back off of the double-sided tape. Sometimes it's really hard to to do that I've managed to do that one and you do that like that and then you need another piece so that you can fix it to your donkey's head so that's going to be one side that's going to be the other if you haven't got double-sided tape you could use um, PVA glue or um, another strong glue I've got this one here Super tacky glue works quite well, but the double sided tape is less messy and works pretty well. It's really hard to get the back off there. I might not, oh, there we are, I've done it. Right then, so you put that, if, you, you, if you've got your marks, you can do it without putting it on your hand, but um, there we are. So this one's going this side. 
This one needs, its, um, needs to be peeled off and that will go on the other side. There we are. Something like that. Oh, it's about there. There we are. So that's the ears. If you haven't got felt, you can use paper for the ears. You could use some black paper maybe, um, or some newspaper. You just cut a, a strip and um, well, just do the same as you did with um, with the uh, felt. Just draw it on, draw it on, and cut it out, and do the same. All right. Now I'm going to show you how to do the eyes. Um, I use the wiggly eyes, and I've got some here that are a bit bigger. These ones are the ones where you peel the back off and stick them on. So that's quite good. So I'm going to see if that works. So bigger eyes there. If you haven't got the ones that stick on, then just put a piece of double-sided tape on the back, stick them on there, or use glue. And if you um, haven't got those wiggly eyes, you want to do something different, you could use uh, buttons. Find two buttons with the same colour and you, again you can glue those on. Um, some black ones there. Or you could use uh, pom-poms. Again just put some double sided tape on or glue and that works fine. Right so after the eyes and the mane. Now for this one I used double sided tape and little strips of black wool which does take quite a while to do um, but it works quite well and what I did for that I'm not going to be able to do it all for you take too long but I'll show you roughly what I did I took a piece of this tape which is actually the foam back tape which works quite well but you can use the other double sided tape and I just worked out where I wanted to put it got a strip like that and and then I've got lots of little pieces of wool that I've already cut up and I put them all the way down. That does take quite a while, um, but it looks quite good. So you just lay your wool across like that, filling up all the gaps. Again, you'd have to use glue if you haven't got the double sided tape, which will be a little bit messy. Um, so I just did that all the way down and you can make like a little fringe at the front of sticking pieces. Yeah, that's probably a bit long. But you can stick some at the front there so your donkey's got a fringe. All right. Now another way of doing the mane is to use black paper um, or other coloured paper. So with that I just cut a strip. I worked out what size I wanted it. I stuck my tape down the middle and then I cut fringes in so it, it started off just as a plain piece of paper and I fringed it and again you can try and work out a way of getting a, a, a fringe at the front I'm sure you can work out how to do that yourself um, newspaper would do fine as well for the, for that um, now tongue um, I made a pattern. I just I just decided on a shape. Again, I made a pattern with my paper, cut it out. This one's done with the craft foam, and then I stuck a piece of double-sided tape on it, and you just peel that off, and you can stick it in the mouth. So you put it on your hand, work out where you want the tongue, and stick it in. Like that, or you could use paper or get some white paper and colour it and put it in there like that. Um, now this one's got like a nose because we've got that bit there, but if your sock hasn't got a dark bit on it like that or a different coloured bit, you could cut a piece of paper or felt, something to stick on the front there just to finish it off. Um, I'm going to show you some others that I've made. Uh, if you haven't got a sock like this one, I had a grey sock again. Um, this 
he's got I just stuck a piece of felt there to make it look more, more like the donkey's nose I made the mane out of newspaper I actually did two layers of newspaper but I, I don't I think the single layer works would work better the ears are made out of newspaper and that's a double layer of newspaper two bits stuck together to make it a bit stiffer the eyes are buttons with double-sided tape and the tongue is paper then if you've got like a, a stripy sock or a spotted sock you can still make a fun donkey with it so this one's not donkey coloured at all or his ears fallen off and um, you've got it there um, so he's got paper ears, paper mane, pom pom eyes, and he hasn't got a tongue. So you can, you can adapt them as you want to. And I'm sure you can make it seem more like a donkey if you make the noises. So I hope you have fun making your donkeys.